Hey guys, how y'all doing? I hope you guys are doing better than I am right now. <sighs> Cause what I gotta what I gotta rea- what I gotta do a reaction to. Oh boy, I really do not want to talk about this trailer. I don't want to react to it. Because let's just say it's for a game that really, truly sucks. And you're probably thinking, oh, what game could that be? Hmm? Yeah. You're probably thinking, oh, it's got to be for something bad. Oh, it is. It is for something bad. Let's just say this game came out October 22nd, 2019. And you guys probably know what I'm ta- probably know what game I'm talking about. <clears throat> Came out on the PS4, and here's the title of it. You can read it yourself because I'm not saying it. Forget it. I'm not saying the title. No way. No how. Three, two, one. Here we go. All right, what do we got? Okay, here's a question. Again, what does this have to do with WWE 2K20? Seriously, what does this have to do with and what does this have to do with this game? Nothing. This has nothing at all to do with it. And wait. Is that Hulk Hogan body slamming Andre the Giant from WrestleMania 3? Is that is that a painting of Hulk Hogan body slamming Andre the Giant? Wow. Okay, what's Hulk Hogan doing doing here? I mean, was he asked to be here? Was he needed? Um, no, I don't think he was. Okay. Wait, Shawn Michaels talking to Braun Strowman? Wait, was Braun Strowman ever on NXT? And if so, when? Okay, Paul. Paul Hammond, what are you doing, dude? Seriously, what are you doing, dude? Are you looking for something? Are you hungry? Are you... looking for someone? For something? I don't know. What's Austin doing here in this... What's he doing in this trailer? I don't know what he's doing here. Of course he wants a cold beer. So, here's a thought. Why not give him a Steve Weiser? Seriously, just give, just give, him, a, just give him a beer. It's not, it's not that complicated, dude. Wait. Andre the Giant. Big Boss Man. Macho Man Randy Savage and Eddie Guerrero. Wait, that can't be who I think. That can't be the the um. That can't be a stat. That can't be a statue of who I think it is. But it is Rowdy Roddy Piper. Holy crap! Um, what Seamus looking for, looking for? Is he look, is he like looking for something? Or is he just lost in his own thoughts? And I bet Paul Hame was like, holy cow, what was that? It's like, what was that? Was that? It's probably like, good gravy, what's, what was that? Was that my... 
Good lord. Good grief. Uh, guys? Sean? Braun? Wait, is that... Is that a statue of Dusty Rhodes back there I see? Okay. Why... Okay. Why is there a statue of Dusty Rhodes and of Roddy Roddy Piper? I don't know. And, uh, will you two, will you two please go make sure whoever just fell to the ceiling is, o is okay? Okay. Seamus, what are you doing? Why are you just standing there doing absolutely nothing? Uh, Becky? Are you okay? Like, do you need to go to the... <clears throat> do you need to go to the ER or something? Because I'm pretty sure they can get you there. Wait, who's this dude? Is he a WWE superstar? And that look on Austin's face is like... What the fuck is going on here? She just fell to the ceiling, and she's walking around like nothing happened. I'm pretty sure anybody anybody who saw that and had that happen to them would have been like, would have would have had at least some scratches or some bruises on their body. But no, she got up. She was literally standing on her feet and just walked in. Like nothing, like nothing was, like nothing had happened. Sorry, but did you see him? Uh, wait. What the heck is she eating? Is that a brownie or is that like some sort of like cookie or, or a donut or something? Or what? I don't know. And you notice everyone's looking at her now, like, and they're probably thinking, is she okay? Or did she sustain some sort of injury that might, where she might need to go to the ER? I hope to God they rehearsed this, they rehearsed this enough times to where, you know, nobody got hurt. Okay, Becky, first of all, rude. Second of all, why did you do that? Really? Really, Roman? Really? So you're looking at her like... Good good work. To which I say... No. Bad idea. Why are they looking at, looking at each other like... Yeah, we did it. We showed, we showed these guys... We show these legends that we matter. When in fact, no you don't. Your legacies will be forgotten someday. Legacies of guys like Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, and guys like that, cemented. Your legacies, forgotten. Nice work. Oh, I'm sorry, Roman. I wasn't aware that Becky Lynch was a man. I'm sorry, but... Roman Reigns, you are aware that Becky Lynch is not a male, right? You are aware that she, she's, she's, a, she's a female, right? You are aware of that, right? Because if you're not, you are now. I cannot comprehend why Becky Lynch ever started using that moniker for herself. The man. First of all, Becky Lynch is no Ric Flair. Second of all, she's not a man. And what's that saying that Ric Flair always, always used? To be the man, you gotta beat the man. 
Well, Becky, I hate to tell you this, but you know, man, you're not a man. Therefore, you not the man. Really, you two, really. You're just gonna clink glasses like like you two didn't just make yourselves look like the biggest look like the biggest jerks at the party. Really. You two think that this proves that you two are somebody's? No. Again, your legacies years from now will be forgotten. Legacies of true legends. And I said true legends, not not people who think they're WWE legends, but when in reality their success was just handed to them. And I think he knows who I'm talking about. Yeah. Wait. Oh my god. Yeah, that's right. That's what Roman Reigns' mo- character model was supposed to look like. Okay. Ouch. Dude. Not so hard, man. Probably Mrs. his thinking. He's probably thinking, not so hard, dude. That actually kind of hurt. That legitimately hurt. No, I'm sorry, but step inside. No. Based on this based on this game, I think more people would rather stay outside. The tagline for this game should have been stay away from our game. Because this game again was a buggy, crash prone, glitchy pile of shit. And I ain't apologizing for saying none of that because it's the goddamn, it's the God's honest truth. And if WWE don't like it, too bad. And if 2K Games don't like it, too bad. I don't care. They need to know this game came out in the worst condition It's at, it ne- and it never should have seen the light of day. And I don't know what they were thinking. And I don't know why this game ever existed. And I don't know why in the heck 2K Games didn't offer anyone any refunds. No, you should have, people, I'm going to say this right here and now before I forget. You people should be entitled to a refund if you bought this game no matter when you bought it. Because... They should not be putting out a buggy, glitchy, crash-prone product. And they should, honest to God, know better, too. They should. They should know better than this. And people, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I I really hope you did. Yeah. Yeah, uh uh-huh. That date? Uh Uh-huh. No. That date should have... That date should have been... And that day should have been erased from the calendar. As a matter of fact, that whole, that whole, matter of fact, this whole trailer shouldn't even exist. If, you know, because of what this game turned out to be. Yeah. Because of what this game turned out to be, it should have never happened. It never should have happened, people. 2K Games needs to issue an apology for this game, and I mean it. And if they did, then they should be giving refunds. They should. They should, people. They should. Yes, they should. Because putting out a product like this shows why 2K Games should not be making WWE games anymore. That's why they need, that's why they need to get their hands away from the WWE games. Because first of all, the games, the games they've been making since about 2K, I'm going to say 2K 17 or 18, have felt literally the same every year. 
Yes, it has. So until the raid to prove that they can handle this responsibility and handle the backlash that I'm sure they got for this tr- for this game and for this trailer. Yeah. This game, honest to God, never should have seen the light of day because it wasn't finished. It was not finished, my friends. No, it was not. This game is a piece of crap. It's it should this game should have been they should have put out a warning on this game. They should have put out a warning on this game saying something to the effect of this game is not finished yet and this game may crash and it may glitch out and it may, and it may have may have some bugs in it, okay? They should have put a warning Either on the box, or they should have put it on, or they should have put it somewhere in the game, but they didn't. They didn't put it anywhere in the game at all. And that, my friends, is unacceptable. That's not acceptable. Not by any means. No, sir. (sighs) October 22nd? No. No. Pre-order now? I hope nobody did. WWE.2K.com. I hope to God that site pro- that site probably doesn't even work anymore. No, it probably doesn't anymore. <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, God. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. So, what would I give this trailer based on it alone instead of, you know, it being... Associated with WWE 2K20. One. A one out of ten. This is an epic fail on their part. It's an epic fail on 2K games. Because they put out an inferior product. And made and made, and the trailer that made the game look superior. When in reality the game's not. The game's not superior. It's inferior. It's a piece of shit. And it never should have seen the light of day, my friends. No, my friends. My friends. Think responsibly. Make choices with your wallets. Do not buy crap like this. Don't buy this game ever. Because yes, what you've heard is goddamn. What you've heard is completely true. This game is a buggy glitchy, crash-prone pile of shit. This game never should have been made. It never should have seen the light of day, knowing the fact that you know what was about to happen. Yeah, this game never should have been made. So, yeah. So, my friends, if you guys did enjoy this video, and I hope you did, I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I Hope I hope you did, okay? And if you did, leave a like on the video. Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done this already. Click that bell to be notified of future videos. Because, guys, I don't think YouTube notifies you guys every time I upload a video. I don't think YouTube notifies you guys hardly at all. And share the video around. For those who haven't, for those who don't know what WWE 2K20 is, let the let the world know what this broken pile of garbage is. Please, my friends, please think responsibly and be responsible. And you guys all have a good day. And you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Be good to you, be good to each other. Love you all very much, guys. Till next time, later, fam squad.